Algebra 2, 5.3b, multiply two binomials with FOIL. If you haven't seen the previous videos for Chapter 5, you might become confused. So there's links in this video's description so you can watch those first. When we multiply two monomials, 3x times 4x, it's going to equal 3 times 4 times x times x. And each of those x's have a little invisible 1 exponent, don't they? We add them together to get a 2. So we have 12x squared. The product rule for exponents says we add the exponents. We can find the product of two binomials by using the FOIL method. First terms, outer terms, inside terms, last terms. That's the order that we multiply. So for multiplying binomials, if we've got a plus b times c plus d, what we do is we FOIL. The first one we do is the a times the c. Then we do the outside, that's the O in FOIL. We do the A times the D, it's the two outside ones. Then we do the two inside ones, the B and the C are on the inside, aren't they? Then we do the last one, B and D, see? So take a look at this. We have two binomials, we have 3xy plus 2x times x squared plus 2xy squared. We're going to start by doing 3xy times the x squared, and remember we have to add the exponents. So there's a little one here and a little one here, isn't there? That's going to give us 3x to the third, because that one and that two makes three for the x, and there's a y. Now we're going to go to the outside. So we're going to do 3xy times 2xy squared. Well, this one exponent y and this two exponent y is going to make a three. 3 times 2 is 6, and there's an x here and an x here, so that's x squared, and then we have the 3 exponent for the y. Now we're going to do the two inside ones. This 1x exponent and that 2 exponent is going to make a 3, so now we have 2x to the third, and now we're going to do the last one, 2x times 2xy squared. There's two x's, so now we're going to have an x squared. 2 times 2 is 4, we've got that 4 there. And there's only that one y squared, so he's going to come down. It's the first, the outer, the inner, and the last. See? We did this last year in Algebra 1, didn't we? Let's try another one. I hope this is bringing back your memory from last year. So we've got 2x plus 3y times x minus 4y. We're going to do the first term to the first term. And 2x times x is going to give us a 2x squared because there's a little 1 exponent and a little 1 exponent that we're going to add together to get a 2 exponent. Now we're going to do 2x times a negative 4y. That's going to give us a negative 8xy. There's 1x and 1y. We put them together. 2 times a negative 4 is the negative 8. Now we're going to do the two inside ones. We've got a 3y and an x. That's going to give us a 3xy. We're going to do the last one, 3y and negative 4y makes a negative 12y squared, because we have two y's. But we have these two terms that are like terms, so we need to combine them. And a negative 8xy plus 3xy gives us a negative 5xy. So that's our first, our outer, and our inner, and our last, because these got combined together. See? Let's try one more. We've got 2xy plus 3x times x squared minus 2. We're going to do the first ones. And there's a little 1 exponent here for this x, and that one's got a 2, so we're going to end up with x to the third power, aren't we? And there's an invisible 1 in front of this x, so 2 times 1 is 2, x to the third y. So we only have that one y because there wasn't one there, see? Now we're going to multiply 2xy times a negative 2. That's going to give us a negative 4xy. Now we're going to do the inside ones. 3x times x squared, that gives us an x to the third power, because we have a 1 plus a 2. So we have 3x to the third. And now we're going to do the last one. 3x times a negative 2 is negative 6x. First, outer, inner, last. See? What's happening is we're multiplying every term in the first binomial by every term in the second binomial. And don't forget to combine like terms. See? We weren't done here. We had to combine those like terms to get the negative 5xy. So, I don't know if you remember this from Algebra 1, but we did this, all right? And if this is the first time you're seeing it, I hope it helped.
Our next video, 5.3c, we're going to talk about squares of binomials. I'm going to add this video to the Algebra 2 playlist, and that Chapter 5 from Algebra 1 is going to be in here, so you can go into the description of this video, click on the links, and see all the previous videos for Chapter 5 that we've discussed so far, and the stuff from Algebra 1, and the entire playlist for Algebra 2. should be able to help you study, okay? The easiest way to study is to just watch my videos. If you have a chapter test about a certain topic, even if your chapters don't match my chapters, you can go through my Algebra 2 playlist and find the topics that you're going to have the test on and just watch all those videos and you're done studying, aren't you? It makes it easy instead of staring at a book, right? I'll see you next video. Bye.